what we have to look forward to for a quarterly report. There's been a miracle operation. I wonder what we've done. Doctors have successfully reattached a hand to a man who was involved in a serious car accident. See, the motorists are dangerous. The success of the operation is attributed to our country's superb healthcare and technical knowledge. This is great news for the image of our public services. It's great. I'm glad he didn't lose his hand because we cut it off for him stealing or something. Oh, now do do you ban animal testing? Dun, dun, dun. A proposal to ban all animal experimentation has been placed before government by pressure groups. We currently have quite a few people working in industries that use animal testing, but it is highly unpopular practice. Oh. I mean, since you've just won an election, you are free and clear to do whatever the fuck you want. <sighs> Got five years, motherfucker. I don't know who this one would affect. Obviously, the environmentalists care about the animals. Yeah, but... And capitalists also care about, you know... Their expenses being cheaper by being allowed to experiment on animals. I think I'm going to side with the capitalist on this one. They're your bread and butter. They have to be. Election is not for a long time. Goddamn right. So you have homeless... <laughs> There's been some interesting situations, but it is going back down. Should be gone next turn, I hope. Might be within a turn or two. You could always institute some <coughs> welfare policy. <laughs> oh, no. No. My country will never be known for that. Over 300 billion in reserves, SKS. It's lovely. The market meltdown is continuing to fade away. You have 41 political capital, which means you can make another big change. Now, keep in mind your manifesto. Sometime within this, you know five years, you're going to have to get rid of the property tax completely, which isn't doing anything for you anyway. Yeah, I thought about doing that right now. I mean, you had the political capital. That's like a big change. Pow! How about that? The other thing you did, uh, the, minute, the Viceroy of Get Fucked doesn't remember. I have to <laughs> increase the lifespan. That's right. You can always review the manifesto in case you forget to. How are you going to increase it even more? Stem cell research would improve the life. <laughs> 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 no. Hot topic. Look at, look at those graphs, man. State employees are right there with you. Liberals. And know. environmentalist. Yep. Although they won't be with you so much anymore. After what you did with animals. Fuck the animals. Do you see them on this chart? I don't. <laughs> Even the socialists have a, have a pretty good attitude with you in regards to polls, man. I don't know how. I don't know how you've placated the socialists. Well... Do you think the liberals would move out? Oh, even the liberal population's increasing, too. Did you see that? They're, They're gonna try to root me out. They're gonna try to root me out. Uh-oh. They went up to... They was 23 at the start. They're 21 last time we checked, and now they're 25. Dun-dun-dun. Working on it, guys. They're working on it. Is there, like, a, uh... Can I kill them somehow? Is there a kill liberals policy? <laughs> <laughs> I think that well, they should put stuff on here like that that would help. Death penalty would uh, would certainly secure you some favor and piss them off even more, I'm sure. And it gives you something to save up towards with 66 political capital needed, right? The death penalty is the ultimate penalty for serious crimes. <laughs> Opponents are concerned by the possibility of killing point their own. Out that it absolutely guarantees you no reoffend. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to commit another crime when you're dead. We really have no need for that with the crime being what it is. Well, you know. Just because you don't need to do it doesn't mean you might not want to do it anyway. <laughs> don't you play that game. Don't you play that game with me. <laughs> Let's see how much more we can piss off the <laughs> National 
a monorail system could be something you would. Now you said that was a disaster last time. Well, you said it was expensive. Well, it is expensive. Look at how much money you've got. You can you can definitely go. Well, you. I don't look at how much we've got. I look at how much we make. Yeah, look at how much you make. We've got. It's you only can try that. You can try that English bullshit of the difference between can and may if you fucking won. What matters is that you're rich, bitch. I know you want to save more money for the space. <laughs> I do. I totally do. I want that thing maxed out. All right, then just cycle through the turn anyway. It's not like you can make a whole lot of changes. Oh, it's your favorite president. When the president does it, that means it's not illegal. My middle name is Millhouse. <laughs> oh, I'm the whitest motherfucker you know. Aww. We fixed homelessness. Hooray. Oh, speed limits. Woo. 15 billion. Yeah. 90% of the people approve of you. A major motorist pressure group has lobbied the government to get speed limits on our major roads raised. Speed limits were set many years ago, and both car speeds and braking performance has improved since then. Now, of course, you know how I feel about motorists, so naturally, I wouldn't improve the speed limits. Well, good. We'll give you that one. No change. Fuck them. That's right. Motorists <laughs> they demand the resignation of the viceroy of get fired. <laughs> Public outcry of anger. Look at our literacy. Yeah, dude. Through the roof! Productivity. Yeah! Mm, you have enough to raise or lower it, but not outright cancel it. They're still slightly unhappy, but they only constitute 15.15% of the population. I know. You know, taking a look at through the other ones, they obviously care a lot about the capitalist side of things. I mean, the liberals still voted a fuck ton for you, even though they absolutely loathe you because you're so strong with all the other groups as well. Nope, and the market meltdown is gone from the influences for the capitalist. Thank God. And they're increasing too, that's what I like to see. Yep. And they're currently satisfied with you, fantastic. They get pissed off about this, though. Oh, they are. But, uh, it's helping solve pollution. And once again, you have fixed homelessness, despite the fact that you have practically nothing in wealth. <laughs> That's right. I have. That's, somebody should uh, publish this as a book on how to fix the country without welfare. I mean, uh... You arm <laughs> oh, you your police with some... <laughs> you arm them with submachine guns... <laughs> I'll solve this shit. Yeah. Everything is outlawed. <laughs> Except for booze. And, and, and some smokes. That's right. You only need one vice. Pick one and stick with it. Oh, you could, uh... I mean, you could always increase prisons even more. Apparently that has no cost at all. Yeah. Man, it makes, uh, liberals. I think it has no cost at all because you have no fucking crime. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> Prisons are like empty. They're like, yeah, we'll f fucking maximize this shit. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the state employees are just fucking sitting around eating Cheetos, playing cards. That's awesome. And we tag the ones who do come in. That's only 13 million for the tag. <laughs> uh oh. It's the best liberal thing ever. You're emptying the prisons. No joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, man. You're going to reduce CCTV cameras? I thought about it. I was trying to make... Well, let's see what that other one does. I was trying to be nice to the liberals, but... Shit. Since they're growing up to a third of the population... I mean, you'd have to take away the submachine gun from the police. Fuck that. We're not doing that. The quality is still fucked. <laughs> I thought you passed the marriage tax relief. Was that just something you talked about? Or is no, it I did. Tax allowances. Because there was another thing in the tax section. Oh, is there? Married guys. I might have just been misreading. 
Mortgage tax mortgage. Relief. There we go. The uh the shit flickers by so fast for me. Flickers. It flickers. It flickers. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't want to do bus subsidies. As, I, uh, as Alanis Morissette once sang us, KS, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? <laughs> that fucking song. It's not great! Do you know that that fucking CD got better on the top 100 released albums than fucking Appetite for Destruction by Guns N' Roses? It's ridiculous. Bus subsidies. Bus subsidies. Bus subsidies. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah! The poor people can earn more money now. Yeah! It'll make the commuters really happy with you. It'll lower car usage. Yeah! How do poor earnings go up from this? Because you're giving them bus subsidies, so they have hmm. more money. Do we want to go maximum on this, or no? I don't think so. Although the, I mean, the commuter uh, really, uh, the commuter bar really adjusts with the maximum thing. Let's leave it there and see what it does. We can always tinker with it later. That's right. You have all this political capital, man. I have thirteen. <laughs> well, you 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 have so much of it because you don't need to change much. Racial tension is dropping. Courtesy of the fact that there's no more racial profiling. That's because all the criminals are dead. <laughs> However, your foreign relations is increasing it due to your horrific... You could give out foreign aid. <laughs> oh my god. Do I want to do that, though? My god. It would improve your GDP. Although it would sink uh, relations that you have with the Patriots, which is a significant constituency for you. Yeah, they're making it, they're dropping, but still. It's true. They uh they vastly plummet up until there's another major crisis. And then they go back. So I mean, we could always raise it a little, but I mean, in foreign relations will improve your international trade, which will improve other things. Like well, I mean, we have to go three billion in the hole to get it to go up a little over zero. Uh well, at least it wouldn't be. It, look at it this way. You're preventing it from being in the red. So you are improving it. It's still a lot of money to do that, though. It's true. It's true. What, and the Patriots, you know... You have you have four and a half years before the next election, right, SKS? You can find other ways. You'll, Sixteen, I mean, you know... You'll build the space stations, right? That <laughs> totally think. gets rid of... The, what, border patrols that we did, the border controls, they would even out. You know, this is 14 and the other one would be 16, so it would just be a little bit negative. And the percentage is going down, so it uh, doesn't matter as much anymore. Why are you pushing, why are you being such a big patron of foreign aid? Because it'll help the economy. I see. Viceroy of Gitfuck cares about where he lives. I'll think about it. <laughs> There's always next turn, that's right. Democracy means simply the bludgeoning of the people by the people for the people. What a good play on words. Corporate manslaughter bill. 18.21 billion surplus. Haven't you already had a corporate manslaughter bill? I guess we're going through another one. I guess so. It's run out of, uh... Well, obviously, we're going to have to block this law. I mean, <laughs> we can't cut the capitalist hands off, you know? That would be rude. So. 91% of the vote. Jesus. <laughs> I'm loved a little bit. Just a little. It's because of the space program. I think it's because you killed crime. You have no negative issues on the board, SKS. I know. I am I'm glad that somebody is honestly seeing this, of how awesome I am. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, it was just you. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's this Viceroy you all keep talking about? Quit chanting his name. <laughs> He's at the DDP Yoga Clinic. <laughs> get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. Oh. So, four name? <laughs> <sighs> Let's do it. Yay! Yay! Looks like you're improving the forum relations by uh, what are they at like negative thirty percent? Right where they are, where right where it is currently. What are you talking about? Where the bar is currently. What's the percentage at? Like for the, for, for, well, it'd be one point one nine. Right, but it starts in the red. Where it currently oh. is. Like what's it at right now? Uh, thirty-two point five five. Yeah, you're increasing it by over 30%. So we're giving our good hard-earned money away. 0.74. have to keep paying them so that they'll buy your products. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're doing this. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, uh, <laughs> patriots. I I'm, I'm sure they'll get over it. You have citizenship tests. Yeah, I'm hoping so. You're, you're well, I mean, you know, you was talking about how they use the America UK thing. I mean, this dude is wearing a U United States of America T-shirt. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I I don't think this game is as international as, as it could be. <laughs> well, evidently, they're developing a third one. So, well, Positech games, uh, I definitely do like them. They also made uh, the guy who's responsible for it also made Kudos and Kudos too, and I enjoyed those games. I'm a fan of Positech games. I really enjoyed the first democracy, although I always ended up in situations where my countries just consisted of, like, farmers. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Let's see. Let's roll it over to the next turn, and then we'll do a check on all the percentages again. It'll be fun, yeah. In, in democracy, democracy, everyone has the right to be represented, even the jerks. That's you, Grimmins. Fucking liberals. Oh. Nobel Prize. One of our brightest citizens has won the Nobel Prize for Kevin's free. This just goes to show that we have some of the best educated and brightest people in the modern world. And is being reported... Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and is being reported as a superb vindication of our education policies, except for the writing of this box. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If the Nobel Prize was not in... <laughs> Paragraph structuring. Oh, extradite terror. terror 25 billion. I wonder what SKS is going to do. Oh my, a Middle East country which we have no formal extradition treaty has requested that we extradite immigration living here and face charges of terrorism. The accused of be living here? Is that what I said? Immigrant, Immigrant living. <laughs> I was reading ahead. They accuse him of being responsible for car bombings in their capital city, but the only evidence they have is, is of this is the confessions of the other terror suspects, which may have been made under duress. That's right. This is no time to be squeamish, man. What do I care? Right. It's not our problem. Right. Bye. <laughs> but now that you've decided, you're extraditing someone just based on the say-so of a foreign country, man. Hey, you wanted to improve foreign relations. We're improving foreign relations. <laughs> man, the Patriots still love you. What are you worried about? Yeah! They love the Nobel Prize, man. No, that, that's, that's helping. That's right. And you said you wanted to review percentages, so uh, let's go ahead and tackle that. All right, let's look at Socialist. Only 4.65, so not really a big change with them. They're still upset, of course, about tax shelter. Well, those aren't going anywhere, so they just yeah. get fucked. I mean... That's all you need, folks, just tax shelters, and it'll make the wealthy people happy, and there you go. So long as you have capitalist in your country. Religious, it's dropped down a little bit. Looks like the percentage of the population, yeah, has definitely gone down, and they're still happy about the banning of the same-sex marriage. Still upset about stem cell research. See, they kind of cancel each other out, though. Right. 
There's the Mary Tax Allowance they're cool with, which that cancels out organ donation. <laughs> yeah, we don't have anything that cancels gambling, though. I haven't even looked at gambling. You haven't even looked at gambling. That might have to be something you look into. Okay, parents, back to this. Parents are so happy with you. 32%. Well, we've come a long way. Yep. Still have Raphael Williams there, the public services minister. <laughs> Oh yeah, capitalist. No more market meltdown in the GDP. Look at that, it's like perfect balance through here. And then... <laughs> say perfect balance until GDP. Damn straight, I know there how to... No, GDP. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's the antitrust cut up. <laughs> <laughs> Trade unionists, 20%, no change there. They're about evened out. They're all just floating along. And we'll all float off. <laughs> Drinkers is the same. Fucking just sons of bitches just drinking themselves into oblivion. Oh my god, 50% of my population is retired? They fucking, they made top hats and they're wealthy off of <laughs> You don't give a fuck now. Half of my population is retired. Do you not understand this? <laughs> I do. That means they're not necessarily old people. They just look old. <laughs> oh, man. They have well, cankles. Know, well, you know, all of the capitalists, they've, they've made so much money, they no longer have to work, but they make money anyway for the lulls. I mean, just look at the... Bam! It's because of your eye test. <laughs> no, it's your state pension. Oh, uh, maybe we should jack that up. Yeah, you might have to look more into, like, a welfare side of things to keep the retired people happy. Oh, uh, do they really need any of that? I never noticed this dude's, like, Star Trek top. Star Trek top. 22%, I mean, self-employed. Self he can do whatever the fuck he wants, man. So, wait, if you think of it, half of my population is retired. Another fourth of it almost is self-employed. So that means only a quarter of my country goes and works a job. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, we do have the cybernet running over everything. That's right. <laughs> well, we, we hail our technological overlords. One third of my population still, you know, just smokes. That's Your favorite person down here. You're so technologically savvy, but people aren't angry about that taking their jobs. It's so wonderful. They found something. Well, they got the schooling where they can do other stuff. I guess so. Like, repair the machines that have taken their jobs. Your your commuters have terribly went down. The last time we looked, they were 45%. Now they're back down to 15 which is what we started with. Uh, yeah, you really cut their, their membership, but that's okay, because they still like you. Look at all the sympathy they get. Yep. That's been that way since the start. The four ministers there. The four ministers of evil. Look, they're all liberal, these guys over here. Liberal. But liberal. they still like you anyway. Liberal. Other influences. Liberal. All these fucking commuters. The socialist liberal. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Where was he? We need to have him killed. There he is. And he's a motorist oh. too. Oh. No. No. <laughs> you make 60000 a year. Oh, the Human Rights Society. Who would have thought? That, that motherfucker. <laughs> Who would have thought? He's part of the Socialist Coalition. Evil. Environmentalist. Wow. Dropped down to 20% of the population. Which is great, and they're all fanatically supportive of you. They just crashed. It's like, man, we don't have anything to protest. Let's go home. Well, it's it's because, you know, all almost all environmentalists are ratty types, right? You've given them money. <laughs> That's true. They bought their pot and went home. They no longer feel the need to pick it. So yeah, these they're even on the they should be on the support. Farmers are still growing your food. Great. Patriots, half the country still. Yep, yeah, though it has continued to decrease wildly, and of course, as they're very inspired by the Nobel Prize. That's hilarious to me. The wealthy still eight percent. Right. You'd think that would be increasing so much more, right, with all of the money your country is making. Maybe, maybe people just felt like, you know, fuck it, you know? Yeah. 
trade, a trade unionist? That's interesting. It's a woman too. She's oh, just he's confused. an environmentalist. Oh man. Religious. Ooh. I always like when there's like the trade unionist doesn't even make sense for these people. A liberal. Oh no. Boo. A liber liberal wealthy person. But at least he drinks. Another one. Oh. I guess there's some of them. But shouldn't he be giving all that wealth to somebody else? He's Ooh. trying. <laughs> State employees, 63%. Many, 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 many of your, your people are apparently state employees or former state employees, I assume, who are still collecting benefits. That's true. We must you, one, have one hell of a retirement plan. So you you come pretty far from that teacher strike. Four percent is now. Yes. yes. Only four percent. And it's still decreasing. Fantastic! I love it. The poor. We had some rough stretch, but it's increasing. I don't like that. And they're still very supportive of you somehow. <laughs> yeah, the poor is increasing, but yet you know. Uh, the immigration scandal is the only uh, negative influence on them right now. That's hate enough to be warned. So wait, if you look at this number again, you know, 50% retired, a quarter work for themselves, and then a quarter is poor. Well, I don't think you can put those branches in the same branches as the, like, say, middle income. I think wealthy, poor, and middle income are, like, their own category. Hey, we got the conservatives being super happy. They like machine gun police. Personally, I get confused with the population percentages sometimes in this game. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, they all crisscross. Liberals, they're going up even more. They're, they're building their army. <laughs> You're going to have to do some more about that. I'm going to have to drop down the armed police a little bit. Oh. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I don't think that's going to save everything, though. Because there's still prisoner tagging, intelligence services... Yeah, well... Cameras. You still I mean, ban same-sex marriage, they'll never forget. You all should be happy. The, the middle income is 66% of the population. I got rid of their taxes. What more do they want? You didn't get rid of all of their taxes. You just got rid of the property tax. Yeah, but even if I got rid of the inheritance tax, they would still be yeah, on a negative... Yeah, keep in mind there's not a whole lot of positive... Maybe you need to find something that positively impacts the middle income. Yeah, it, it, All you it, have are negative things on the board. Maybe that can be the, the next great project, along with gambling. <laughs> I don't think I want to touch gambling, though. No stakes limit, man. It has a positive impact on the GDP if, if gambling is maxed out. And the capitalists love it, and it decreases unemployment. Yeah! Fuck you, religious son. There should be a crime bar on this one. What crime? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there definitely it normally is a violent crime bar. The problem is you've killed crime. <laughs> well, I guess we can do this and not really worry about anything. Yeah! Yeah! Why not? <laughs> go play cards. Go have fun, kid children. I love how it decreases unemployment even though people might go broke. Maybe you guys are responsible gamblers here. Yeah! Poverty going down. Yeah! Sales tax. Ooh! It's reasonable. We'll get over it. I know. Bastards. Inheritance tax. Did, you, we did talk about you possibly canceling this since you it's only 1.5 billion and you didn't need it. Yeah, I probably could get rid of it. I mean, the socialists love it, of course, and it really helps equality, but, you know... I mean... The retired would be happier? That's 50% of my population right there. That's right. And who cares about equality, really? Bam! There you yeah. go. 
government's making money. The function of socialism is to raise suffering to a higher level. That is an awesome quote. That is perfectly timed as well. Yep. Get fucked equality. <laughs> Sign the viceroy. How did Tony Blair get over here? That's Tony Blair, right? You uh, definitely did discuss him, I think, in the first video. Like, I, I, but I said, uh oh. Uh oh. You what have you this? done? <laughs> Well, we'll, we're definitely going to... was an unlisted effect, SKS! We're it definitely going to have to uh, fix that quickly. Oh, yeah. The president is now pissed. <laughs> that spiked way too quick. Mm-hmm. Loving their game. Ooh, V-chip. The V-chip bill is proposed to make it mandatory for all televisions made or sold in the country to include this hardware, which listens for a signal, broadcasts with TV programs, which rate the program based on the content. This is stupid. Well, based on the demographics of your country, it would be something you'd want to introduce. Oh, because of the religious people? And all of them, and the conservatives? I mean, I mean you've already slighted the religious people by having no stakes. But here's the thing, wouldn't I want to block this so the liberals would be happy about something? Maybe to balance it out a little bit, since they're growing in almost a third of the population? I don't think you can save the liberals. Yeah, but they're growing. I don't want them to pop up one day and be like 50% of the population. There's no individual person who's, like, just a liberal. They dip into the other categories, of which you're okay. popular with. So you think we should introduce this, then? I'm just saying based on the demographics. My parents would like me. I'm not saying the V-chip is an inherently good or bad thing. Mainly, you know, for constituent purposes. I will introduce it, then. Alright, we definitely need to take care of organized crime. This is bullshit. Oh, yeah, or crime, you have made an unfortunate life decision. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Well, there are plenty of opportunities you have to... Look, there's no... Violent crime is non-existent. There's no crime... What are they doing out there? Are they just running around with mafia outfits on and... Well, I imagine organized crime is... Uh, there's a lot of profit to be made in the drug trade since you've completely banned... See, it added this now. Yes, because organized crime was an issue that had not developed yet. So you couldn't see it on that screen. It tricked me. It tricked me. So how much is it? Gambling puts it up 36%. I don't think you should adjust gambling. I think you should add something else that will completely crush organized gambling. I don't... I don't think there's anything to it. So, the, the way I, you gotta play numbers here. So it's thirty six point eight six percent plus minus sixteen minus nineteen. So say twenty thirty six percent. So there's so many policies in Law and Order you haven't even enacted yet, SKS. I know, but I don't think. Any of these are really going to mess with that. We don't know. We can have an experiment here. So many people love you, SKS. Might as well have fun, right? I just don't know if it would cure it. I just don't see how you have organized crime when crime doesn't exist. That's why they have to organize, because they only have limited opportunities. <laughs> I just, I, don't, I think we need to nip this in the butt where it started. I, I think gambling needs to be curbed. The, the problem is, is that you have to now get organized crime below the in trigger. Well, you got to remember that right now where we have this, we don't even have age limits on a casino. So anybody can walk into a casino and gamble. Yeah, is that bad? Uh, I don't see something on here that's going to do this. Well, you've never tried to enact every single issue before. Check out phone tapping. I mean, that just seems like that's... We can implement it, but I don't think it's going to do... Oh, look at you. Clever girl. Excuse me? <laughs> it doesn't cost that much. It really impacts terrorism, which is great. And the liberals are already fanatically opposed to you. 
I think you should maximize it all the way. That's a big chunk, though, against liberals. They are already fanatically opposed. Yeah, but still. What am I going to do if they pop up and they're like... What if we're creating them because of shit like this? You can't create liberals. What the hell are you talking about? Have you not looked at our school systems? Cause <laughs> Fine. I'll take your advice and we'll see what happens. But I think we need to end the video here. Okay. Coming up next time, more organized crime. <laughs> bang, bang.